Hello, Don. Hello, Sally. I thought we would skip dinner and drive straight to Lookout Point. That is, if you can stand the heat. You know me, Don. The hotter, the better. I mean, I've never been on a raid before. Come to think of it, I've never held a criminal off the roof of a warehouse by his ankles until he screamed, Mommy. Oh, Mommy. Sally, you make me feel alive. Like I've dropped a stun gun down my pants. Hey, Dan. Do it again. Sally, you're insatiable. Pants. Oh. Todd, if you needed underpants, you could have just asked. I didn't need underpants, Sally. I took them because I'm weak, because I'm pathetic, because I'm a man. And I couldn't resist touching something that had been so close to you. Really? I'm so sorry. I can't believe you, of all people, would come into my house and do something so damn swell. What? I thought we were on the outs and then you'd go and do something so crazy and brave and really sweet. You know we're talking underpants here. Here, Don. Keep them. And when you look at them, think of me. Okay. Oh. Take the bra. It's a matching set, so... God bless you. Sally, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be here. I know. It's forbidden like our love. Wait, you didn't come here to watch me do my business, did you? I'll answer your questions, all of them, but not here. Not now. Well, then when, Sally? When the crescent moon slices through the clouds like a saber through the strings of a bodice. Help me out. Is that Tuesday? Friday? I beg of you, I must go now. Everything you need to know is in here. Be patient, my love. The wait is almost over. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm a starving woman, and you're the blue plate special at the beef and griddle. You had me worried. I thought we took the midnight train to Splitsville. Well, we may have crossed signals at the last junction, but now we're back on track. All aboard. <laughs> Sally? Hello, Don. It's been a long time. I thought you walked out of my life for good. I'm back. I ran into trouble out there in the city. The city is full of trouble. I found this on my car. <laughs> Parked in a handicap zone. I'm, I'm sure you had a good reason. Yes, it was the closest spot to the store. Works for me. Freeze! I may not have officially made detective yet, but I think I figured out what's going on here. You're not in love with me. You're in love with the uniform. Would you be right? Could my attraction to you be completely superficial? <gasps> I'm afraid so. What does this mean for us, Don? I'll tell you what it means. It means you'll never see me out of uniform again. Hot dog! And you know, I've got a hat, too. Wear it. <laughs> so, uh, Don, you ready? Yes. <laughs> so, so, we're gonna do it. I want to do it. You want to do it? I want to do it. <laughs> so you uh, ready to rock my world? <laughs> well, you're <clears throat> definitely in for a jostle. <laughs> well, this is much better, huh? Absolutely. We should never have gone to your apartment. Mm. There's a, a bed in there. Yeah. <laughs> what are we thinking? I mean, this, this.
This makes more sense. This huh? is the perfect place for two friends to share a cup of coffee. You know, I knew we could do it, Don. Totally casual, no problem. <sighs> bright and early. Oh, we just got back. Don took me on an all-night stakeout. Yeah, must be exhausted. Oh, now we fell asleep around 11. Yeah. <laughs> I'm reasonably sure nothing went down, though. I'm a pretty light sleeper. I just love spending the night in your arms. Oh, me too. Hey, I gotta go hit the can. <laughs> Protect and serve. That's what I do. Protect and serve. Well, I've got something to tell you, and it's gonna hurt. Then make it quick. I can't join the force. But you're so good. I'm the best. But it's too much power for one person to have. I I'd affect too many lives. No, there's no power. I do nothing. I'm completely ineffectual. Here's your stick. <laughs> I'll never forget you, Smokey. You'll be back. A woman like you can't stay away. Maybe. Be careful out there. <laughs> Hello, Don. Sally, you look dressed to kill. No, Don, I'm dressed to win you back. Huh? Look. On. I know my curvy boobiness can't compare with Albright's mousy charms. Is this a trick? Because, you know, I can get back up just like that. Oh, see, that's just it, Don. I don't have any tricks, but I'm... I want to learn. I want to satisfy you. So I kissed Albright, and, and you want to satisfy me. Oh, yes, please help me, Don. Well, I... Might be willing to teach you, but it'll be rigorous. I'll wear my leather halter and sparkly wig. And we're back. <laughs> now listen, Sally, I may not be the perfect man. I may never make the cover of Pretty Boy magazine, but I'm Don Leslie Orville. <laughs> and okay, telling you my middle name just now probably really didn't help my cause. <laughs> but if you want to have a relationship with me, it can't be when I'm just flashing my badge or shooting a gun. It has to be with the whole me, with the 24-hour me, with the me I'm always going to be, whether I like it or not. Don. Oh, Don, what? <laughs> oh, Don. Don. Sally, if you're going to rip my heart out, you better reach in now and pull it out fast. Because in one second, you're going to be wearing my lips for good. <laughs> 